Nanotechnology, despite being at the forefront of modern science and engineering, is rarely taught in detail at the middle and high school levels. There are few teaching materials that focus on nanotechnology and are age appropriate. This project aims to address this issue by developing and distributing kits for fully automated, large-scale atomic force microscopy models. Our large-scale educational AFM consists of a small power laser, Lego bricks, and a Lego Mindstorms controller, allowing students to build the cantilever tower, scanning stage, and light sensor tower roughly in one hour. Once complete, the sample surfaces that come with the kit are ready to be scanned. A LEGO Mindstorms kit is also integrated to automate the control of the sample stage and sensing of the laser beam for monitoring of the cantilever deflection. Thus, students can understand the working mechanisms of the AFM by building and operating the LEGO AFM by themselves and learn how operational parameters affect the overall quality of scanned images. An AFM consists of four major components. The sample to be scanned, a laser, a cantilever, and a photo detector. This tip is on the order of a few nanometers in size, lending it the ability to interact with nanometer-sized structures on the sample surface. As the cantilever is scanned over the sample, it deflects vertically following the contours of the surface. This changes the angle at which the laser reflects off of the cantilever and the vertical position of the laser on the photodetector is altered in response. The controlling computer is able to detect this difference from the photodetector and assemble a contour graph of that particular row of the sample. Then, using a raster scan technique, an entire sample surface can be mapped in three dimensions. Now the LEGO AFM contains the basic components of an actual AFM. The sample surface, the laser, the cantilever, and instead of a photo detector, two Mindstorm light sensors. Two Mindstorm motors move the stage in X and Y directions that the cantilever tip is able to scan the entire surface and students can watch the AFM in action. Similar to a real AFM, the cantilever deflection is measured using a laser spot reflected from the top surface of the cantilever, but its detection is through vertically aligned Mindstorm light sensors as an alternative to the photodiode array. To interface the LEGO AFM with a computer and display the scanned image in real time, we have developed operation software using LabVIEW. As the LEGO AFM scans the sample, the software displays the corresponding contour plots in real time and then assembles them in a three-dimensional map. The operational software developed in LabVIEW was designed to be easy to use, yet still powerful enough to teach students about various operational parameters and their effect on resultant scans. LabVIEW is versatile enough to support both a USB connection and a Bluetooth connection from the computer to the NXT brick. Thus, the first operational parameter is based on the connection type, USB or Bluetooth connection. USB has slightly more bandwidth and allows for more data points to be achieved, resulting in a larger resolution scan. The downside, of course, is that the model must be tethered to the computer at all times. The second operational parameter is creep correction. Now, the LEGO brick motors do not spin with the same speed and power in both directions. Thus, alternating rows of the scan can be offset, enough to distract the user when analyzing the scan. This parameter offsets alternating rows by a set amount to correct this. The third operational parameter is Y iterations. The movement in the Y direction is governed by this parameter, so the higher the number of iterations, the more of the sample will be scanned in the Y direction. The fourth operational parameter is noise suppression. Any readings below this value will be interpreted as a zero. This helps with an inconsistent sample stage and small variations in the light sensor readings. Noise suppression helps clean up scans by ensuring a clean background surface. With the development of the LEGO AFM kit, 
we hope to more expose nanotechnology, especially nanoscale imaging and instrumentation technology, to young students and inspire them to pursue STEM careers. Moreover, this kit is anticipated to ease the understanding of the physics behind the AFM for beginning AFM users and trainees, as the real AFM is often too small and compact to directly see and understand its working mechanism.